While we recently got a definite release date for the Shiba and U game, Shiba Eternity, the release date for Shibarium, the Shiba and U Layer 2 platform, has been quite elusive. We've been getting updates, but a launch date has yet to come up until just recently. Keep watching to find out what has changed regarding the launch date for Shibarium. Welcome back to the channel, Shib Army. I hope you're excited for another video. If you're here for the first time, you're most welcome. On this channel, I'll be giving you the latest Shiba and new updates as they happen. So, if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications so that you always know when I post a new video, which is every day, by the way. Now, let's get into the video. September is coming to an end, and as a result, a lot of Shiba and U holders are eagerly waiting for an announcement from both the Shiba and U dev team and Unification X Fund. The reason, as you might have guessed, is that a couple of weeks back, X Fund announced that Shibarium would enter beta testing in Q3 of 2020. And considering that September is the end of Q3, it is understandable if we are all on the edge of our seats waiting for some kind of announcement. That said, it is important to bear in mind or remember that earlier this month, X Fund published a blog where it talked about its timeline for Shibarium. Among other things, it was mentioned that they still have plans for an end of the quarter release or sometime shortly thereafter. And considering we are just a few days away from the end of September, it is looking like sometime shortly thereafter is the most plausible. Now, of course, the timeline for sometime shortly thereafter could be shorter or longer than most of us think, but Shibarium will probably be beta tested before the end of the year, at least. That's kind of what it looks like. It is important that the beta version is launched before the actual network because it will give X1 the feedback they need on what they have created while also giving developers an idea of the terrain that they will be working on. That way, they can start to strategize on what they will be building on Shibarium. For now, we just have to wait for the announcement of a beta launch to be announced. But it doesn't look like that will be coming this week. Considering that Shiba Eternity is set to be launched on Saturday, it looks like a lot of attention would be on that launch and downloading the game as it should be. That said, Shiba Inu seems to be showing stratospheric growth on several fronts, causing traders to hodl. For one, has been on a price incline since the beginning of the weekend, and still is as we enter into a new week. The number of SHIB holders has also continued to increase, with 3,000 new addresses joining the community between September 19 and 24. This adds up to about 35,000 new holders in just three months. What's more, according to Investing.com, when looking at SHIB's 24-hour chart, the overall trend still seems to be bearish, although this might be changing. One of the indicators that prove that the bearish sentiment is waning is the directional movement indicator. D the DMI on the one-day chart shows the signal line and the plus die resting barely over 20, which indicates a wavering bearish trend and the possible start to a bullish one. There are other areas where SHIB has been experiencing growth. For instance, buying pressure has continued to increase, in spite of the general condition of the crypto market. Also, the percentage of the Shiba and U community that are long-term holders has been increasing as well. Right now, about 30% of Shiba and U holders have held their tokens for over a year, which is an increase on what it was about a couple of months back. By the way, speaking of buying pressure, if you're considering buying some SHIB tokens, or any other crypto for that matter, Fairdesk is your best bet. Transactions are quick and seamless, and you get some interesting bonuses, including a 4% bonus on your first three-day transactions. I think it's anyway. Some predict that Shiba and you will reach $1 soon. One of the reasons that was mentioned for this is the fact that Shiba and you obviously has staying power. Shiba and you was initially launched as a competition for Dogecoin. But while there have been other coins and tokens that have tried to do the same thing, only Shiba and you has not only survived but actually thrived so far. So, there is that. Another reason that experts say that SHIB could actually hit $1, which is also tied to its longevity, is because of the ever-expanding Shiba and U ecosystem. Since the token was launched about two years ago, there has been so much improvement that it would be difficult to recognize the project from when it was launched. There are now more tokens, a DAO, a DEX, food and clothing partnerships, a metaverse, and a game and layer 2 solution which will soon be launched. All of these are shaping Shiba and you up to be a serious competition within the crypto market. And that is something that we love to see. Meanwhile, 
SHIB has become the largest ETH whale holding. Whales have been purchasing a lot of SHIB in recent times, enough to make SHIB one of the 10 most purchased crypto assets by the top 500 biggest Ethereum whales over the last 24 hours. And now, it has managed to flip some ETH to become the most held token by the top 100 ETH. Whale purchases are not all that have increased in recent times. SHIB burns have also seen some really incredible spikes. We are looking at an 800% increase in SHIB burns. A lot of these burns have to be credited to Travis Johnson's SHIB Superstore. The store burned an impressive 125 million tokens in two separate transactions under 24 hours, without SHIB holders having to part with their tokens. But Travis Johnson is not the only one who has contributed to SHIB burns in recent times. According to the Crypto Basic, further adding fuel to the fire, the mysterious wallet turned 76.48 million SHIB to ashes while sending them to the Inferno addresses in one staggering transaction. By taking a deep look into the wallet, Etherscan, Yield reveals that the individual continues to contribute towards SHIB burning for the past couple of months and already has burned millions of SHIB tokens through various transactions. All that said, SHIB is not the only token in the Shiba and U ecosystem that is being favored by ETH whale. Bone is also garnering a lot of attention from whales. But before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 SHIB. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Hash Shiba and e Good luck! Bone is currently one of the most used smart contracts by Ethereum whales. This has to be because whales, just like every other investor, are looking to gain entrance into the Shibarium before it actually launches. And now that Bone can no longer be mined, everybody is scrambling for what Bone tokens have already been mined. Rounding off, John Richmond, Shiba and Yu's fashion partner, has unveiled a new fashion collection in Milano. John Richmond, himself, made the announcement on Twitter saying a special look into our very exclusive event held in Milano, embracing both brands will be showcased in the coming days. The world's strongest fashion partnership rocking Web3 innovation rocked all expectations in hash MFW the Shiba and Yu clothing line had already been featured in Milan Fashion Week before this announcement was made. But it looks like John Richmond's recent announcement might have something to do with Shiba and Yu's metaverse. The metaverse is supposed to be launched early next year. But before that can happen, Shibarium has to be up and running. Because the metaverse will run on Shibarium. Also, Shiba and Yu's Eternity game is currently enjoying a 4.9 star rating on both the Google Play Store and the iPhone app. This, Shibarmi, is incredible. How many apps or games have you seen with a 4.9 star review on any app store? Not many. But Shiba Eternity has done this. And this is just the test version, a version that is supposed to have a couple of issues to be fixed. What this means is that basically everyone who has had the opportunity to play the game has enjoyed playing it. And has had little to no issues with it. It also looks like we can expect the actual game to be awesome. But then again, with the studio and team that have been working on this game, what did we expect? With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.